in order to try to understand the, the commercial ecosystem of Singapore, it seems to me that there are actually three Singapores. The first Singapore is what we all know. It's a country of about five and a half million people, 714 square kilometres, uh, a modern economic miracle, if you like, the way it has taken a place with no resources and developed into a, a modern and very wealthy economy. Um, we're familiar with this. The second Singapore, though, is that group of Singaporean companies who have a borderless approach to the world. So that could be the big uh, industrial corporates like Keppel and Semcorp who, who dominate their fields. It, it could be the property developers that, uh, that we see uh, building and operating hotels all over the world. Um, and of course, their sovereign wealth funds, major sovereign wealth funds on a global scale, making strategic investments and supporting industries right around the world. But we're kind of familiar with that too. But the third Singapore, I think, requires a bit of focus as well. And that is the concentration in Singapore of the regional headquarters of global uh, organisations. Probably something like 4,000 multinationals run their Asia-Pacific business out of Singapore, making investment decisions, making decisions about supply chains, about procurement of services, about manpower and staffing. And not only are they making major decisions about Asia, but also making major decisions about Australia there. So this is really a part of the economic ecosystem that we, we, we need to understand better.